Caligula, one of the craziest emperors to ever hold the title Emperor of Rome. Known for his incestuous relationship with his sisters, his brutality towards the people close to him, and for his love towards animals as he planned to make his horse a senator. Caligula also owned a zoo with exotic animals which was recently discovered by archaeologists. The Roman emperors are known for living in majestic palaces, impressive constructions that are unthinkable that could be built on ancient times without any modern technology. For some emperors, public constructions were to serve the people and marvelous constructions such as the Colosseum and the Parthenon were built for the people. But for others, more greedy emperors, they choose to build for their own pleasure and that's the case of Caligula. And some of them, built by greedy emperors, were forgotten as soon as they came out of power. But nowadays, this can lead to new discoveries. At the end of 2020, new details about the Caligula's palace came to light. They discovered that he owned a private zoo with exotic animals which remains were found in the center of Rome. The Palace of Caligula brought to light new small details into the life of one of the biggest tyrants of all history. Caligula born on 31st of August of 12 AD. His formal name was Gaius Caesar Augustus, son of the great Roman general Germanicus, who was famous because of his victory of the Germanic barbarians a few years after the disastrous defeat of the Roman legions at the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. His mother was Agrippina the Elder, granddaughter of the Emperor Augustus Octavian. Caligula was actually a nickname given to him in reference of his small soldier uniform, which he was dressed by his parents. Caligai is the name of the Roman soldier boots, while Caligula can be translated as small boots. The Emperor Augustus had a son-in-law which was not his favorite to be in line of succession to be an emperor. His name was Tiberius. Augustus wanted that Germanicus, father of Caligula, and his nephew to succeed him as emperor, so he forced Tiberius to adopt Germanicus so he can be in line for the emperor position. Germanicus was blood related to Augustus, while Tiberius wasn't. Tiberius, which ended up being the emperor after Augustus, was not a favorite for the people or not for Augustus. But because an unfortunate series of deaths among the candidates, Tiberius ended up being the only at age possible to be emperor when Augustus ultimately died. Tiberius had a biological son, and he wanted him to become his successor. But Germanicus was very popular among the people, and the people wanted him as successor of the emperor instead of Tiberius' son, Drusus. But again, a series of events ended in the death of Germanicus. There is a suspicion that Tiberius had Caligula's father poisoned and the rest of his family, his mother and his brother, imprisoned. It is possible that Tiberius spared Caligula because he was very young and he didn't see him as a threat. And also, maybe he wanted to keep him as a possibility of a successor in case his direct descendants did not survive. When Caligula became a young man, he demonstrated some interest in the role of emperor. After the death of Tiberius, Caligula became joint emperor with Gemellus, Tiberius' grandson. But soon after, he forced Gemellus to suicide and took the position of sole emperor of the Roman Empire. There is speculation that Tiberius was assassinated. In the beginning, Caligula was very popular, partially because of being son of Germanicus, also because he turned out to be a competent man to rule the Roman Empire. But in October of 37 AD, Seven months after his ruling started, Caligula became very sick. Caligula, who saw his father die of poisoning along with several members of his family, probably had suspicion that somebody tried to murder him. The Julio-Claudian dynasty had a history of epilepsy, which could be the cause of the illness of the emperor, but independent of the fact, the brain of the young emperor had gone haywired. When he woke up, it was like if he was a supervillain of a comic book. But also, he were the most powerful man on earth. What Caligula did after he woke from that bed is tale of legends, unbelievable, yet still history. 
Also, we should take in account that there is a degree of bad propaganda done by the posterior emperors in order to distance themselves of Caligula. Caligula considered himself as a god and wanted to be worshipped, and he chose to erect a statue of himself in the Temple of Jerusalem, a very problematic area of the empire, a stage for several revolts and the center of the Jewish religion. In a way, he looks like he liked to do provocation, and of course, this generated a revolt among the Jews. He slept or raped wives of his own trusted officials and then later bragged about it in public and in front of them. He killed random people just for fun. Also, there is tales of he intentionally wasting money of the province just to cause starvation. There was a tale that during one of his games in the arena, where the prisoners were fighting with wild animals, that at some point there was no more prisoners left to be killed, and he who was still bored ordered his guard to throw an entire section of the audience to the animals to be killed just for his amusement. He had incestuous relationships with his three sisters, Agrippina the Younger, Drusilla and Livilla, and he also prostituted them to other men. But this was not all, he also sent his troops to illogical military exercises, assembled troops to invade the island of Britannia, but instead told them to collect seashells on the beach. Also, he turned the imperial palace into a brothel. One of the most famous examples of his craziness was to provoke the fury of the senate against him. He made the implication that his horse in status could perform all duties of a senator and wanted to appoint him as a consul, but ultimately he made his horse a priest. Caligula's actions become so crazy that everybody starts to be afraid of him. Also, in regards to the Praetorian guards, the people in charge to protect him, Caligula had the special pleasure of mock the leader of the guards a man called Cassius Carea, mock his voice, calling him effeminate, ask him to pronounce dirty words or slangs, just to laugh at him. The final straw for the senate came when he announced to the senate plans to move the Roman capital from Rome to Alexandria, where he will be properly worshipped as a god. With such humiliation from all the sides, an assassination plan came to light. Some group of senators made arrangements with the Praetorian guards to kill Caligula. In January of 41 AD, during the celebration in honor of the divine Augustus, while the emperor was talking to a group of actors under the palace, the leader of the Praetorian guard himself approached the emperor and killed him. His reign lasted for less than four years. Caligula was 28 years old. In the chaos following the assassination, Several uninvolved noblemen were murdered, including many of Caligula's friends. His uncle Claudius fled to the palace to hide, but the Praetorian guard chased him down. According to the legend, a Praetorian guard found him hiding behind the curtains, scared to death, but once they found him, they bowed to him and made him the next Roman emperor. Claudius took over Caligula's palace and gardens. At the northwest end of the Palatine Hill, are the ruins of the Palace of Caligula, built in the 1st century AD. Originally built by Tiberius, Caligula expanded on it. The palace is the first true Roman imperial palace, as the first emperor, Augustus, lived in a usual private house. In the 16th century, many Roman artifacts were uncovered at the site. Most of them can be seen at Capitoline museums and since there is still excavations taking place at this site. Caligula's palace excavations found amazing gardens and a private wildlife park at the end of 2019 by Italian archaeologists. Under an office building owned by a doctor were found around the year of 2018 parts of another palace of Caligula together with gardens. Since then the archaeologists are working on the site in Esquiline Hill, one of the Roman historic seven hills. A local newspaper described as a complex archaeological finding under an office. What the archaeologists discovered is rooms rich in frescoes and colorful marble decorations. Many pieces of pottery tiles were discovered, an imperial bodyguard brooch, 
coins and jewels. But what really amazed the archaeologists was the discovery of the gardens and exteriors. It was found exotic plant seeds and also signs of a watering system. The gardens were at different levels. These levels were connected by a marble staircase. You can imagine Caligula walking in these gardens and enjoying his extravagant property. The villa was first owned by a wealthy senator who left the house to Caligula in his will. The archaeologists also uncovered evidence that Caligula owned his private zoo. They speculate that these animals could be used in Caligula's private games. They discovered a bone of the foot of a lion, a tooth of a bear, as well as bones of ostriches and deers. But there's more to be found as excavations continue. They hoped that a museum would be built near the location at Skelin Hill and these discoveries could be appreciated by the public. So what do you think about Caligula's extravagances? We would like to hear your opinion, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to rediscover the past, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated on Moas Maiorum. We publish videos every week. Tibi gratias agu pro vigilabu.